Well, hello, Representative Eric Swalwell. My Republican colleagues are here for carnival games. They say it's about mental health. Okay, we try and fund mental health. They vote against it. They say it's about schools. We try and fund the schools, fund the teachers. They vote against it. They say it's about policing. $300 million in the American Rescue Plan for community policing. They all voted against it. And they don't want to listen to the police. If they listen to the police, they'd listen to the major cities' chiefs who have called for background checks, red flag laws, banning bump stocks, and banning high-capacity magazines. My favorite, it's about the family. We need to address the family issues in America. But we don't want to help feed a family. We're going to make it harder for kids to live on food stamps. We don't want to help a family learn. We're going to go after teachers in America. We don't want to help kids go to college. We don't want to give them jobs. We're going to vote against the infrastructure and jobs bill. And then they say that laws don't work. But they have no problem crafting laws to take away a woman's right to make her own health care decision. That law must work. They have no problem going after laws to ban drugs. There's plenty of laws on the books to ban drugs. But no, it's all about the person. Laws don't work when you have evil in our country. That's what they tell us. And then they tell us that we're in a country where you have violent video games, mental health problems, schools that can't be secured, and too many gun-free zones. And their solution to that is to put more of the most dangerous weapons into that mix. That's insane. They're also out of touch with the overwhelming majority of gun owners in America. An organization called 97% just put out a poll that said among gun owners, and they only polled gun owners, 86% support background checks, 76% support safe storage, 67% support red flag laws. Those are gun owners. So who are you here for? Our kids or the killers? Who are they here for? I just said that they are not here for the American people. They don't care about you, your kids, your grandparents, your great grandparents. They don't care if you're starving or living on the street. They don't care about the American people. They are being paid to do what it is that they are doing. They don't view you as their employer. Voters, show them. Show them who their real employers are. Vote them all out.